Are you gonna be in love with me? I want you to be in love with me. Come with me, and you'll be in love with pure imagination. Love with the sun, get your lucky time. Chow, good day, good day. Media. Oh no, I'm in the middle of vocalizing. Actually, vocalizing over a song. Or maybe actually singing it. The Rachmaninov Opus 34. I did a break because I sang a few days ago, right? And then I didn't really vocalize. I was too tired. So I shouldn't be singing when I'm too tired. So this is my break right now, so I talk. And I'm asked, how do I remember? That's kind of a very strange question. How could I not remember? I know everything about it. It's in my body. Where is it? I don't know. I don't have a score. <laughs> Besides, what I do there is, is beyond the score. Because no one else has done it. I don't need a score. Once I know the police, I know the peace. Mainly when I use the score, like today, I remember the lyrics sometimes. Um, this was an amazing challenge for me to do that Ramach Manimov piece, because it is for a very thin voice. No, it's not opera. Yes, and I vocalized it with another singer who had a very thin voice. It was a tremendous challenge to do that. So it's also hard right now. I mean, I have to have my headphones on. I have to constantly focus on not singing too loud. And of course, to do all the rest I have to do when I sing. Because I like the piece so much, I can do it. I was singing it over the violin of Joshua Bell. Somehow I had the idea it was like a note lower. I don't think it is though. Well, I don't have an orchestra in my hand. <laughs> and for it, no. No tango, no orchestra in Bajo La Manga. If you can't even buy orchestras. Oh, wait. There's no orchestra. Wait, what is there? Oh, it's just a violin. Okay, well, that too. All right. I like it so much. I like the way it was played, so I can do it with him. Yeah, there is moments where he, of course, can play much longer, but maybe he never did that. Yeah, because the voice has only so much breath. But maybe he did also a long way that. Well, here you see, I can do it. Let me continue now. Now, today, I can do many more things with my voice than what I could do when I did the recording. Uh, the breath, when to take the breath, is a stylistic thing. One has to make choices, and those are usually done beforehand. You mark your score when the breath is to be taken. No, my voice wasn't yet in the position to flow, so I needed lots of breaths, as I can see now, that I can go through four breaths with one breath right now. Because of the voice, it's easier. But it happened right at the time, by the way. Maybe the song helped me to, to put the voice in the floating position, because it was just after I did recorded my album, that I thought I'm gonna go ahead and take on another challenge. Because for my large voice to sing that aria is very challenging. I know I'm not doing it correctly right now. I'm singing too loud. I have to focus on making the voice smaller. Like in the dance song. Yeah, because now I'm getting nervous because of the height. <laughs> now I have to pause again. I'm not there yet. Is he? I know I do it. That's very challenging for me to always continuously looking. Keep it thin, keep it there. Because I already did not do it. And yeah, best is not to say, not to talk, but I am. The breath is of course interrupting, and I also know how to breathe correctly. I was nervous when I did it then, because it was so hard. How often did I pause it then? I don't know. Maybe less than today, because I was already warmed up. Did I pause it at all? Who coached me? No one, I did myself. Well, when I have the instrument, I know how to move. Yeah, 
It's like dancing, right? With someone. You can't follow what s to be done, so I follow what, what feels like the right thing to do. No one ever coached me anything. In this, in this song, and vocally, the vocal coach doesn't mean it tells you how to emit your voice. It tells you that you have to take an account here, that there's that message to be done. So you might want to do more emphasis here. That's what a vocal coach does. And the singing teacher often doesn't help you with the, with the plot, but because the singing teacher often doesn't play piano. Well, once you know how to go over certain obstacles, you have to jump over the river, then you know it always, right? Well, we continue now. Okay, I just experienced the high note for the very first time, as it should be. It was my very first time right now, as I said here on April, what is the day? The 12th? Um, yeah, because I was so nervous then, and I had to pause on the high note to put my voice in the right position, and I did it there, and it did very long, longer than expected. And I don't remember, today I did not remember that it was so long, I could have just held it there. But I felt like nervous the entire beat, which is stupid. I know I shouldn't. To so actually reach the high note. Now I feel confident I can do it again. Because I interrupted the recording to do the high note extra, because it was so high, because my voice wasn't prepared yet to do a lot of things I can do today. I don't need to do much to have the voice in the position. I don't actually even move anything around. And that was, Peña told me that too, my Peña. That you don't have to do much in the breath. Okay, I'm not gonna finish. Don't don't take this for a second, listen right now. Because yes, you do, but then again, you don't. I don't want to talk about it. Once you're prepared with your breath, there's a other. Okay, the aspect right now is that the voice is floating. So I don't need to enhance it with making weird quirky movements in my body because I already have achieved to create that instrument. Yeah, like the study values of the violins. But the instrument is not only how it sounds, but how can I emit it to make it sound special in particular for everyone. Every one of the pieces and every part of the pieces because there's many different things going on here which I don't really expect anybody to understand. But they are definitely happening. Well, like I said, I'm like, if I want to know something, I want to know everything there is to know about it. So if I have an instrument, I need to get to know it, not 30%, like most of the singers, or 20, I don't know, 5%, and then stop doing. I need to have it 100%. And maybe I can squish out a little bit more of it. That means, I don't know, if, if, if usually singers would just write on a, on a little road which had like lots of batches, a lot of little things, because I never really know how to. And they kind of amend it by recordings piece by piece. I just thought I'm gonna go ahead and don't only have my street nice and clean, I actually get to know the entire city. See what else I can do with my voice. Yeah, no one told me I should. Everyone said that's not possible. Yeah, people were complacent. If, if I would have become like the opera star, I would never become complacent. Well, I know someone who's professional says, oops, now I'm being shut up. Okay. But I would always have continued looking because it has to feel right. No, I'm not saying I did 100% today. I am just kind of warming up and vocalizing. I see how I speak. I shouldn't speak like this after some. I'm getting there, I'm working, but see, being an opera singer is actually paying attention if you want to write the entire time. There's not one moment of relaxing when you sing an aria. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit of a, hmm, yeah, you have to relax and sing and perform, but you also have to no, not relax, and then you have to let go, and then you also have to control. That's what this very difficult thing about opera is, and it's fr frustrating. It's, wow, you have no clue how many years that was like, ugh. Because no one tells you where to go. Yeah, the few instructions, no one tells you what to do. And the little bit you know, you don't really know anything because it's it's in the experience, not in words. Yeah, it's super frustrating. Yeah, I just get to push and push. So I would never just be complacent, I would always kind of say, and if I have a chief, then I say that's nice and I make sure 
that every time I do it, I achieve. Same thing. And then there is something else. There's like the good days and the better days. How do I feel my body? Did I sleep well? There's no, that is not a myth. It's, you have to have your body right. You have to also have your emotions right. Well, to others. So Diana said, do not get upset. Before a concert, don't do anything, don't talk, file your nails at the most, be silent. So it's a spiritual awakening at every concert to be there 100%. Now Melina, she would come every single concert and she would bench herself where I was, in the dressing room, even in the toilet. She would actually bump herself into it and would start talking and bothering me to upset me with her little squeaky voice. I don't want to meditate with her. Okay, let me make an effort now. Attention, give me attention and I'm going to hurt you and I'm going to hurt you. Every time she would come, I could lock the doors, but they were not always like in the border, in that concert. Oh yeah, I had, I had a dressing room, there was a restroom in the back. Of course she made that way to the back and was totally bugging me, buggering me there. I mean, it, she was literally actually hitting me before that concert, like every time. She had no respect. I always ask her to please move away. She had no respect. She just tell her to move away. She continued doing it more, more so. Yeah, luckily she didn't really hit me with a fist. That's what her little insertion was. The sneaky little, oh, are oh, you so pretty? Look at your hair. Oh, how nice is that? Yeah, the stab and stab and stab. Well, I had to perform anyway. And I did. Yes, and by the way, no one ever taught me good jobs, okay? Not make no one did. No one. My family, anybody did me, told me. I think the nicest thing I heard was from the envious aunt who said, your, your, your job is... But that was actually an envy. No one ever said, wow, that's amazing, so, okay. oh, how great you did, and nothing. Zero. Yeah. Nothing. And then I got yellow flowers. Well, this, my, this friend, she wanted to hire me again. Well, she didn't really hire me because I did not charge her money. That was maybe a good thing. <laughs> well, I got a standing ovation. That was good. But then everything else would come to me. that you never know, right? You have to look into that. Do they actually really like it? How, are they not just enhancing themselves now that I were the star? And I tell you what, they did love it and I know it. Hence, I felt encouraged to continue doing so. Yeah, even that person who gave me the flowers and that ovation thing, that was Sissy's husband. I talked about her. And I sang at their house too. I think, of course, to him. No, that's her name, Sissy. <laughs> C-I-C-I, -I, maybe? Oh, he was a Bonachon, American. I, I was delighted and everyone who was there because uh, they knew me already. Did the Babino Carol thing. Oh, I took my shoes off that time. Oh, it was time ago. That was before the trip was even known. <laughs> and everybody, oh wow, how pretty. Well, it was warm <laughs> in Mexico. That was felt good. Well, I'm supposed to be a girl, right? And it's a sweet, 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 right? Just well, besides, I like to take my shoes off very much. Like, constantly and all the time. I had a lot of things to do today, but you know what I did instead? I took a nap. It was a very good nap That email I took a nap Zoom call I took a nap What about your lunch plan? I took a nap House chores I took a nap Home workout I took a nap Bath time I took a nap What about the eggies? I made time for that The end of this chorus I took a nap Can you tell me please, which way should I go? That depends on where you want to go. I don't even know where I am, I don't even know where I am, I don't even know where I am, I don't even know where I am. Cool cream soup, taste is coco roco. Want me your wife, but she is. Let her learn your own from and let you love you. Are you gonna be in love with me? I want you.
you to be